Welcome back to the Waddle Park Animals Div 12 Resis Game Day Vlogs. We are versing a team that beat us by 133 points in round three. This is going to be an epic game of football. It's going to take our best to get over the line. Stick around to the end to see what happens. If you've been loving the Game Day Vlogs recently and you want to show your support, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel down below. We're close to the nervous 90s on our road to 100,000 subscribers, so any support would mean the absolute world. This week, we're back home against the St. Mary's Football Club, and earlier in the season, they defeated us by 133 points. After that result, I was absolutely gutted. It made me rethink football. It made me question why I'm out here on a Saturday afternoon instead of just at the pub sinking beers. Last time had been erased from my memory for ages. We knew last time 133 was a bit of a bit of a piss take though because we played some pretty crook footy. We've got heaps of recruits since that game. We had Kuko in and we had the twins in, so I knew we weren't going to lose by 133. I knew it'd be a lot more competitive this time around. We were confident that if we brought our best footy this week, we'd be an absolute shout because not many teams come to the zoo and walk away with the four points. No, I'm taking the reins of coach. No. Strictly business today, brother. Strictly business. Look at the fit on the coach. Hey, wait until I've got my suit jacket on. I'll... He's getting a suit jacket and he's getting um, headphones. As if he's talking to someone upstairs, but it's third footy wheel. There's no one to, to talk to upstairs. Big day today for the club. So um, we lost to this team by 133 points early in the season. They did an absolute number on us. Um, so it's about how we respond. Hopefully, we can push them. I feel like we've improved a fair bit where hopefully we can be competitive. Um, Cookson's debut, he's last played footy a couple of years ago down at the Colac Imperial, so he's come up to play some thirds footy. I've gone recruiting, and two of his best mates, the Keegan Twins, are playing for us today as well, because in the thirds, we keep losing our taller players to the twos, so we've gone recruiting with a couple of lads uh, for some height, and it's Checkers 150, so a lot's happening here at the zoo. We're all going to be running out through the smoke machine, and um, should be good. Oh, I think it's going to be a great game. The sun just came out just then, you'll, you'll see that. Um, ground's actually sloppy as though. It's wet. It's like wet, sluggish. I feel like I'm going to cramp up in about two and a half minutes in, so that's always exciting. 1120, Shay. Yeah, beautiful, yes. Checkman's 150, how you feeling? Yes. Um, better than usual, bit of pep in your step, but no, he's showing his age a little bit, the old fella. 150, we'll get it done for him, won't we? Love that. Debut for the animals. I cannot wait. I'm fucked already. <laughs> done half a run through. Yeah, and I'm done, but it should be good fun. Um, how are the Red Bulls going, Dan? <laughs> I've had two. Yet to kick in, but um, give it a bit more and uh, we should be all right. A few more Red Bulls, hopefully don't have a heart attack, but should be fine. <laughs> when was the last time you played footy? Uh, around, last round of last year. It's been a big off season. <laughs> and it's not like off season and start doing some work. It's like off season bigger, bigger, bigger up until about a week ago. So the three little uh, 400 meter jogs I've done haven't exactly put me in good stead to be playing footy, but that's right, we have a bit of a laugh, don't we? Let's get it left. Yeah, there. Check, big 150, how are you feeling? There's a microphone under here, can you tell? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a bit hard to hide when the Guernseys are so tight. Check's 150th today, how are you feeling? Check's 150th, super excited for the great man. He's a stalwart of reserves and thirds footy. And um, we're gonna have to fly the flag for him. We lost to this Bob by 133 last time, so um, we're gonna have to get ourselves up and try and win for the great man. Big milestone. Okay, now it's your 150th, you're the man of the moment, how are you feeling? I'm not the man of the moment. You are. Um, I don't know who is the man of the moment. Austin Cookson is the man of the moment. Okay. He's in. As we always do, we all got to the ground an hour before the match started. Well, everyone did, except for Bailey McCabe. Bailey McCabe never gets to the ground on time. Buzz time. He's late. I'm so late this week. Did you just get here? No. Okay. No, I've been here for maybe seven... 0.64 minutes. I've been here for almost an hour, mate. Well, Cardi, oh, you are a better man than me, mate. He sent me a text, uh, Bailey McCabe, on Saturday morning. Meant to be there at 10.40. Saturday morning, 11.10 a.m. We'll be there shortly with plenty of time. We'll be late, but we'll still be there with plenty of time. Kiss, kiss. But this time, he rocked up 20 minutes before the bounce of the ball. 
Maybe he's riding the high of being in Adelaide last week. He had a good game in the Div 12 as his big game. He had 28 touches and he was shirking people and running bounces down the wing. So maybe he just had a bit of a rock star mentality this week that he doesn't need to rock up on is time. This, is this your PB for the latest you've been? Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is like 25 minutes before the bet. Like usually you're a 40 minute before the bounce guy. Well, we're meant to be here an hour. It's like 25 minutes till we play. But mate, you're the biggest proponent of prepare how you need to prepare. <laughs> Everyone's different. <laughs> And I need to get my mind off the game as long as possible. Was it a sleep in? No. I was up at nine. Yeah. I'm really confident. You said that last night. Yeah, I really appreciate it. I texted him last night. I'm really confident for Bass today. Big performance. He's had one good game. Get done. Give me your love. Come on. <laughs> Can we... Listen. He had 28 touches. Fantastic. He had Prime and Bernie Vince kicking him the footy all game. Well, he's on the wing by himself. I was giving him... And then he comes half an hour late. Rockstar treatment half an hour late. Do whatever I want, mate. This is, this is getting... Do really you want to kick goals today? This is getting Would out of Would you like to kick goals this is today? getting out of Because I won't kick you the footy if you don't want to kick goals. To combat that is voice from behind you. So if you're stuck in no man's land, you're really looking for your mate behind you. Like, hey, Caden, you're in no man's land. you got to come back or you got to go in. you got to go impact or you got to come back and help defend. So um, a lot of voice will help that out pretty easy. Um, Lenny's here. Yeah, we have no Dale Thomas this week. <laughs> and what did I say about Dale Thomas? Feeding the ball? You know who we're going to feed the ball today? The player that kicks six. And who's that? He's right in front of me. Oh, wait <laughs> <laughs> we're just feeding the ball in the forward line, and my other tactic is kick it to space. Obviously, you guys did that against Oakley because that's how we won. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's also someone who's having a milestone, so we're going to feed him the ball as well. Yeah. 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 Now, everybody hard along. <laughs> Check it. Last time we played them, it's, it's, uh, it will rehash the 133 point loss, but we kicked the first goal of the game and then it just turned around completely and they killed us. Uh, this time, I think we had an inside 50 very early on and then they kicked the goal straight after and I was like, don't do it again. And it was just a rewind to round three when they we kicked the first one really easy and then it was all over and I was like, oh, here it comes again. <laughs> I kicked four or five in a row and it was not looking good and the same same issues we faced last time with their, they were spreading really well and they were, they were, they were just pl tactically playing us so much better. I was like, oh no, we haven't learned anything from, from, from a big loss. So it was really frustrating that after a 133 point defeat, coming here really confident that we were gonna make a fist of the game and just sort of being overwhelmed early, uh, made us all feel like we're sort of in the deja vu down at the zoo. Jarrah marked it at the top of the 50, probably a little bit too far out. Um, he's still nursing a bit of an injured ankle, so it was great to have him in the forward line alongside Cookson. These are two guys that can compete for us and bring the footy to ground. There's a lot of space inside 50, so I made a little bit of a lead. I got a slight gap on my opponent, and Jarrah Davis with his lethal shoe uh, was able to hit me on the chest. And I knew that we needed this because they had kicked the first two or three, and I knew that we needed a bit of a steadier given how many opportunities they had missed as well. So I went back and kicked an absolute helicopter and um, we had slowly but surely settled ourselves into the game um, and made a bit of a fist of that first quarter. 11 goals zip would have been a hard one to come back from, but three goals eight is handy that the breeze was going slightly across the goal, I reckon. I reckon, I don't know who won the toss. I thought we won the toss. I don't know why we're kicking into the breeze to start with. They won the toss, um, but we were, yeah, just lucky that, that that breeze has gone slightly across the goal face because they, they couldn't work it out. They just kept kicking directly at the middle and uh, fading into the post and stuff. They were a little bit unlucky, to be fair. They, they weren't missing by much. Not a bad start. They had a lot of shots in goal. They had the wind as well, but we rested it back halfway through that first. And we're in it now. Like, we're 18 points down, kept it to three goals. They get out the back a lot, but we're well and truly in this now, so it's super exciting. Yeah, if you compare it to last time we played, it's phenomenal. We're so on. Yeah. It, this turn's back. Yeah. Very They're solid turn, I'd say. Yeah. Like, I, I think they yeah, haven't lost it from last week. As well. as as position, you keep me there. Yeah, and then we're lost because we're gassed. Yeah, the issue is, really well. I'm playing forward, 
Um, I'm getting the footy in the back 50 because we have we, we can't get it out. So yeah, when we're attacking, we have to get down there quick. Good actually. I've been kicking with it. So. Yeah. Are you fully clear at the moment or still? No, I can't really kick with it. Guys are down there. It's one on five. Still on the mend. We just we just need to win stoppage and clearance. Um, just in everyone. All right. Let's go. In the rooms before the games. Shush, 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 shush. Listen, boys. All right. Um, in the rooms for the game, we're talking about that stoppage and last time how they pretty much fingered us by just beating us at the stoppage. <laughs> this time, we've been doing it wrong. I want this for one sec. So if we're in the middle and we're going this way, we're setting up like defensive, defensive, and one attacking. And we're sort of hitting back defensive and they're just rolling over us. They're just lining up in a line yeah. and just rolling over the top of us. They're fucking us. We, we just someone, like say, Kearns gets the ball. He's now got six blokes running flat chat at him and they take the ball and they're on a run. All right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Let's fuck, swap these two. I'm not going to lose a hit out. Be fine. I'll punch along, put two at the front, one at the forward. And if you don't want a midfielder, you don't think this doesn't make sense to you. When it goes up forward, when it goes up back, this is you. You're in that contest, all right? So let's chuck a few extra in front of the ball and we'll spike it forward or we'll hit it forward. But I'm going to stop hitting back. Once we hit back, they sort of just they line up yeah. and they just come through like a rugby scrimmage and just 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 roll over us. But we're side, we're going sideways, 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 trying to break their spread and we can't break it. We're just getting stuck. We're going like zigzagging up the ground. Just kick over the top. All right, we've got some good forwards. We've got Junior's got a good set of hands. Kane's got a good set of hands. Jarrah's got a good set of hands. We've got some good bodies up there, like some big bodies. Where so this, boys? Just go over the top. Stop the sideways and trying to break the spread. Don't be afraid to just chuck on the boot and put it up the board. Yeah, so at quarter time, a little bit of a reset. We got lucky. They didn't, they didn't kick away. They only kicked the three goals. Eight. If it was the other way around, it would have been a lot different. We probably would have had our heads down, but we still thought we were a chance. And we needed to reset the game plan. It wasn't working. Now, at quarter time, Checkers spoke about a tactic change in the midfield. St. Mary's were charging in as a wave, winning the footy back, and then spreading like crazy from the centre clearance and also a lot of the stoppages. So, Checkers said, we're not going to hit backwards anymore. We're going to punch the footy forward and... We told our half forwards and our centre half forward to run in to the stoppage and try and get their hands on it. But we were just weren't getting them the ball. We were going, we were, we were trying to match their spread and, and, and play sideways. So we just started playing directly down the ground. It was grab the ball, turn around, kick it high, and just let the forwards do the rest. This was probably our best quarter of footy. We were on fire. The tactic change to hit forward brought the young King Cookson into the game. Gets it to Cook, and I don't know if the footage shows this, but Cook tried to sell candy. Key forwards don't sell candy, but Cook did it. I don't know how he did it. He sold some candy and got it through. So I was really expecting Cook to do the strut, the um, the fend off. He's he's more of a he's more of a fend off body body size, body type. But he's he's selling candy like he's a small small running mid. So give him credit. If, I've, if I see any more candy, I'll be impressed. I was nowhere near the footy, but I was yelling out, like, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, one more, one more, like, we can do this, we can, we can scrape one more in. It'd be really good to go into half time, a couple of goals up, and put them on the back foot after they could have been 11 goals up at quarter time. <laughs> so a free kick got given, and they were holding onto the ball, and, and then pretending they didn't know which way it was going, you know, being a little bit smart, fair enough, fair play. But I was like, just get it back, we've got, we've got 30 seconds, you got to get it up, get up to Caden or get up to Jarrah, because if you put it in the air, they were, they were clunking everything, so we just need to get an inside 50 in that last 30 seconds, and we could have converted. Right at half time, after probably our best quarter of the year, I pick the ball up, I dish it to young Cammy Dapich, who snaps it around the corner, and we celebrate hard at half time. We'd arrested the momentum, we'd kicked seven goals to three in that term, and against a side who could have put us away in the first quarter, after having mental demons against what they did to us in the first game, so proud of the group to enter halftime with the lead against some really staunch opposition. And now we're up at halftime. He's a mover. Kid's a mover. Kid's a mover. One goal. One goal for the first quarter and now seven in that second quarter. Yeah, we're running hot there. Love running that. hot. Can you stop? <laughs> Can you stop? Good stuff, Kados. Love Dossie. it. Awesome fight that, boys. Every week rock up yeah. expecting a lot from you and you always just fulfill it. We're doing, it different. We're doing it differently. This is the boys in the midfield are cracking in. They're getting it forward. It's what we got exposed at in the first game. It's what we got exposed at in the first quarter. 
I'm so proud of that midfield, the way that they just kept getting it forward. You know, forward line has bought in, so that was a great turn, but they're a good side and there's still half to go. I talked to Doss. I talked to you at the end of the first term. You said it needed to be a big second term. You kicked seven that quarter. Fuck, that was a lot. Unreal. Doss has turned into prime Surioli because someone's down there just fucking just just trying to clunk the ball every every option. Yeah, you can go. You're running. A bit of that. Yeah, but I can't yeah. feel my thumb anymore. Yeah. What have you done? Just jarred it. Yeah, I just jarred it in a marking. No, I actually tried to spoil for once. This, this is why you don't. This is why you never play defense. Yeah. You get injured when you play defense. You're an idiot. Strong, but I said to Berg a couple times around the wing. We, we maybe went down the wings. Remember when Dale Thomas said to us in the rooms, "We've got a uh, for a sec. We've got an oval, and we need to start putting all our men in here." And then it forces the opposition to kick out to there. Reverse it for our forward line. Let's just kick into that hot spot. Stop kicking it out here and start kicking it straight in. And you got Jarrah and you got Caden sitting under it. But if we're putting Jarrah and Caden up into that dead zone, it's now into the wind. That's not a goal. That's a, that's a 55 meter kick into the wind. But if we put it in the 25 meter zone, that's where we keep the goals scored. You just got to remember the wind. So it's just this quarter, next quarter, when we got the wind, we're going to fucking roll over in the last. But this quarter in the wind, you got to cut that kick out. And when you're in this spot, it's gonna be more just straight in. We just, it's just pump it in, it's just pump it in high. Give us some air, you don't have to kick it flat. We've got some good bodies out there. We've got some good Crummer, Smithy, and Dapo, and everyone that's up there is crumming well. Dossie's flying like he's 18 again, so just just remember that when you're having your chats. Go back in your chats, great stuff. Really positive. Like, um, I feel like I'm not, I haven't been as impactful as I would have been if I'd played wing the whole year, but I still feel like it's a positive impact on the team, my change. However, the rest of the team's going really well. This is taking the piss, it's just running through. He's a mover, he's a mover, kid's a mover. agile, like Ben Brown. Kid's a mover. Yeah, I'm right. can't get my hands on the footy, but I'm in the spots. You're looking I, lively. Yeah, I just go to my finger again, so that's good. What? I just go to my finger again, so I'm like... So we'll be right, mate, we'll be right. It's okay, it doesn't hurt as much as last time, so we're sweet. Tying up checkers and stuff with the wind, one thing I noticed that you guys were doing in the half, um, you weren't utilising the wind enough when having shots on goal. So this is the end against the breeze. This is the footy here, obviously. Um, you guys are doing it there. You're aiming that goal post, which is not good. You need to be aiming Man, that one. Cool. Cool. Utilise the wind this quarter. <laughs> the third quarter kicks off and it's a bit of an arm wrestle early. They're not taking advantage of the wind just yet, but we can't quite convert in front of goals to counter punch um, what they're doing up the other end. The ball gets trapped inside 50. I get a free kick for holding the ball. And I was like, man, if we can slot one early here against the breeze, against the momentum, it's gonna be super handy. So I was going back off the mark, to try and slot a snag and arrest some of the momentum. And Bailey McCabe. Old Sleepy Baz, um, he rinses the umpire because they missed probably two 50s that should have been awarded. He gave the umpire a bit of an earful and they reversed the decision. As a skipper who was going back for another snag, I was filthy at Baz. To be fair, the ball got thrown back along the ground and if anyone's been watching the AFL, that's 50 metres straight away. Straight away, not even thinking about it twice. Then the ball gets picked up off the ground and thrown back dodgily again. Obviously, don't want to knock our umpires. They were very good all day. <laughs> Baz probably shouldn't have said it out loud, though. He's arced up and and had a crack at the umpire, which he should never do. Reverse the free kick. And uh, most people, you hang your head in shame. You go, oh, I've cost my skipper a goal when he's racing away to a Coleman medal here. I yelled at Baz and said, Baz, you have to impact the next contest now. You have to get there. And he sprinted full tilt, decked a bloke, took the ball over the boundary, allowed us to set up back at the ruck and got us back on track. You know, Two, two steps back, but one step forward. It was from Baz there. Yeah. Felt like in the third quarter, we tried to protect the lead a little bit too much. We had the lead by playing some daring football, but in this quarter, played a little bit safe, played a little bit wide, and put the gloves down a little bit. It was sort of like we were winning the boxing match by taking it to them, by standing close, biting down on the gummy, and throwing punches. And in this third quarter, it felt like went up against the ropes and tried to cower away. 
and it opened the door for St. Mary's. And in the last five minutes of this third quarter, they arrested the momentum. We were struggling a little bit with the wind. And I don't know whether this was because we had been running so hard at goal that maybe we got a little bit tired. But we got very defensive in the back half of the, the third quarter. Maybe we just weren't confident in the game plan because we had to kick into the wind and we weren't scoring as fast as we were in the second. But everyone got a little bit sluggish and everyone got very defensive. We're half a sniff here of letting them kick five or six in us. So yeah, three or four it wasn't great, but it was a lot better than you know, six, seven, 133 points that we saw in the early in the year. Down by like four goals a quarter time, we left the half time up. So, and we know how to play the game plan now. We know what we got in us. This is, they're only celebrating because they thought they were going to have another 133 point win. It's not going to be that today. They know that gap's not big enough. So Look at win! Spread out, set up how you're going to set up. We played a little bit differently that quarter because we had the wind against us. We got to turn that back around. We're attacking. Five missed ones. Bread and butter snap. I'll go the drop punt from now on. Yeah, I know. That's, come on, mate. Um, come on. Forward lines are locking it in. We're doing so well. Back line's been good. Midfield's got this arm wrestle of a battle. We got the win now. They know that that gap's not big enough. This would be one of my favourite football wins if we can get up now. It looked like they won the World Cup final with the way that. Have they gone a bit early? It's at three quarter time. Such tales what needs to be done to get over the line. Lots of firepower this quarter. We need lots of firepower. Um, we don't want. I think we need to shift the momentum to start off with. Hear me out, big call. What? Junior at full forward, he'll kick you five in the last quarter. Well, I don't want to say, don't want to take it away from the hot hand of um. Oh, big junior plays DOS every day of the week. Have you seen that bloke? Well, we've got we've got three pretty. That's a deadly. That is a deadly forward. Yeah. Right? You want to get it? You want to see it? Cougar needs to get on the board. Yeah. Will, but we've got Jarrah starting up a bit. That's right, that that's right, looks a little bit uneven. I thought it looked a little bit uneven. Next week, this will be somewhere over here, and it'll just be a big wheel tail lights right there. Oh, fitness test, fitness test. <laughs> <laughs> bunch up, bunch up. Oh, you all know what we all know what we've got to do. <laughs> Listen up, boys. We're a little bit defensive. We said a, I said at halftime, like, we're going to probably, yeah, like, you know, Fucking straight in the guts. So that, that quarter we got on the wing is going against the wind. This quarter, attacking is shit, all right? Let's roll in by 10, not just roll in by one or two or keep it tight. Yeah, I don't give a fuck on, if they kick a quick one. Don't get your heads down because we know if they're a quick yeah. one, we can kick quick four. Yeah, yeah. 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 If come on. Kick one, uh, don't drop your head. Don't yeah. Because yeah. we can kick right. Come on. The last quarter begins and I was confident that if we had enough supply and opportunity, we were going to be able to get over the line. So this was on the midfield. This was on checkers, this was on sketch, this was on our team. If we can get the ball forward, we're a chance to come back and pinch it. I've been telling the boys all day with the game plan we had, that sort of like one way running of just running directly at the goal. There's gonna be times where we lose possession and they'll kick a few on us. Unfortunately, the first few forward 50 entries we turned over and then we were caught on the back foot because we had all of our midfielders sort of too deep in the forward line to run two ways and they just fast broke us a few goals. But I'm very happy the team backed in the game plan and knew that we can score fast. We scored really, really fast in the second quarter. We scored six goals and they knew, hey, three or four goals isn't the end of the game. Normally it would be. On any other week, it'd be the end of the game. You'd be four goals down, your heads would be down. But we knew we, we were a chance to score those six in the quarter like we did in the second. It's the start of the last and we're down by 20 points. I think we might have conceded the last four or five of the game. We've now got the wind. They've kicked two against the breeze. Um, I knew that 20 points was a big margin, but I knew that we'd be able to come back. So I just thought we just need an opportunity. We need to grab something out of nothing. We need to put it on the scoreboard. Once we get the first, we are going to be well and truly back in this. I missed a goal. Um, actually, wasn't going for goal. I was trying to find Caden. But we were kicking with the wind, so it went a little bit further than I anticipated. Um, Shrey missed a goal, which is crazy because he only had three touches and he's missed it, almost the match-saving goal, match-winning goal. But he shrugged a bloke, spun him inside out and kicked a point, which was just... We just couldn't get it through the sticks. Um, and I think maybe everyone was getting a little bit hungry and we weren't looking for Jarrah and Caden as much. But then when we found him... The, the opportunities got converted. We missed a couple of chances and the anxiousness grew. We had a big contest up at the half forward line. The ball gets kicked in long. It goes over our heads and I just start tracking it back. And while I'm tracking it 
back. I'm like, I'm going to mark this. I'm actually going to mark this on the goal line. So I just keep my eyes on the footy. I commit to the play. And as I mark it, I just slam into the goal post. And I had nightmares of the kick that I had in Adelaide for the Div 12 resis. I absolutely ballied the ball. I had never kicked the footy as poorly as what I did then. In my head, I was like, I've got to screw the footy hard. I extend the angle, I kick truly, and once we got that, I was confident that we were going to charge home for the rest of this quarter. We now have all the momentum going our way. I have it at the half forward line. There was a lot of space inside 50. So in my head, I'm like, if no one runs into the space, I'm gonna have a ping because I think the wind will help me from here. But I was also thinking, if someone leads late, I'm gonna honor the lead. I make some eye contact with Austin Kane Lambert Cookson. He charges into space and I didn't want to let him lead too far up because he would just end up having the kick similar to me. So once I saw him take off, I'm like, I'm just going to dart this to him. So at least he's improved the angle. He's kicking from 20 out instead of 40 out. And hopefully we have a high percentage shot at goal. Hook the sealer. But he definitely warmed into the game. He got a, he got a clearance, which was impressive. He sold some candy, which was impressive. Um, he was a bit of a walking highlights package in the first few, but he didn't really impact the Prem data. He didn't, he didn't have a heap of the ball. He didn't, you know, he wasn't kicking snags. He was just doing some fancy stuff, a bit like a Cyril Rioli or a, a Josh Rochelli. But in the last quarter, he really turned into, uh, well, Joel Amati, who, who just impacted his possessions. It was 10 touches for 10 scoring shots for Amati. And I think Cook in the last quarter was two very important touches for two very important goals. So. Cooks and marks it on the chest, goes back and kicks truly. The Waddle Park animals are coming home with the wettest of sails. the boys we had a lot of key outs wasn't our strongest side got the choppers oh, it was an arm wrestle it was an absolute arm wrestle Darcy's oh. getting it done but um to get that done that's one of my favorite footy memories that was unbelievable Embarrassment and how flat you felt and 
like the cameras and some kids came down to watch us and it was just embarrassment. I felt shame and embarrassment losing my 133. So we set ourselves for this one. We had a lot of outs as well. Um, so it wasn't our strongest side, which is super exciting for the rest of the season. That we've got gears to go to, but to to correct the contest differential, crack in and do what we did. One of the best local footy wins I've ever been a part of. So good, so brave. Oh, we're feeling good. We've got the boys, the triplets came to play. We're all built the same. We're all as athletic as each other. It's great. It's great. Dubs, baby. Uh, I'm so spent. Worked hard. Good win. 154 point comeback. <laughs> We've done it. 133 points we lost by in round three, and we turned it around, and it was just one of the best wins I've been a part of in local footy, and it could be a win that propels us later on in the season. All right, guys, that's it for another episode of the Waddle Park Animals Div 12 Resis vlogs. Once again, guys, we appreciate all of the support, and I'll see you for some more content very, very soon. Cheers.